What's going on, family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com and pick you up some of the 903 Fishing Signature Series on the website. Coulter is ready to go over there, and these jigs absolutely catch crappie in the fall and winter in the creeks. I hope you all are ready to see them in action. Y'all stay tuned. But like I promised, I wanted to show you guys what happened. Now, as I was coming up in this creek, I put in and started paddling towards the lake. I came upon this right here, and I've never seen this in person. I knew that this could happen, but it just, it's pretty wild in my opinion. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Welcome back to another episode. We are in the kayak today in the creek, and we're gonna try to get on these creek crappie for you guys. I just put in the kayak. We've had some good rains here recently, and it's been really cold. So I'm hoping these crappie have really moved up into this creek. So I'm gonna try to catch some for you guys today. If you haven't, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. It means the world to me. Thank y'all so much. If you're not subscribed and you love crappie fishing, whether it be from the boat bank, kayak, creek bank, it really doesn't matter. This is the channel for you. Smash that subscribe button. We're also on the road to 75,000 subscribers on the channel. Once we hit that 75,000 subscriber mark, we're gonna be giving away a lot of items, ACC crappie sticks, thump gel, PC fun reels, slab city jigs, all that good stuff to show my appreciation to my subscribers. So smash that subscribe button, come join the family. Now guys, I got Jig and Bobber today, and I also have another 66 ACC rigged up in case I wanna to try to vertical jig some structure or pop a jig off the bottom of the creek. Now you never know what these crappie are gonna want, so I, I try to be prepared to give them whatever they want. So I'm gonna get off in this creek, guys. We'll see if we can find some creek crappie today. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, there he is. Oh gosh, guys, that's a crappie, that's a big one. Turn sideways here. Oh yeah, oh that's a big one. Oh my goodness. Look at that crappie guys. Look how thick that fish is. Wow. Look at that fish guys, that is a 13 incher. 13 incher baby, let's go. That's a good fish guys. Look at that, pretty. Pretty, pretty fish. I think I might be on to something here. Let's put that 13 incher on there. Now, my setup today, guys, is, y'all already know, I got the 6.6 ACC crappie sticks one piece right here, okay? This is my go-to jig and bobber rod in the creek. 6.6 one piece, great backbone. I don't have to carry a net with me. I could just flip these crappie up to me, just like you just saw and 10 pound power pro braid guys i'm still in the creek okay i'm fishing heavy structure possibly um with a 12 pound mono leader and then check this out guys y'all are going to be excited about this i'm fishing really muddy muddy water as you can see it's pretty much chocolate milk and this is going to be a new bait coming to the 903 fish and stinger series from slab city jigs okay black and monkey milk but yes this is one of the new baits coming to the 903 fishing stinger series right here and i fish a lot of dirty muddy water guys so you know i wanted a bait that i could really use in these creeks when they do get real muddy just like this right here after a big rain and these crappie are in here but they got to be able to see what they're going to eat and i feel like this black and monkey milk right here is going to be great for these muddy creeks and i mean when the water is this muddy guys them crappie don't have much visibility they really don't 
So you got to make that bait presentable to them the best you can. And this is one way to do it right here by using that black and monkey milk, something that they can see. There he is. Okay, guys, I think we got a good one. Oh, goodness gracious. It is. Is that a toad? Yep. That's a keeper fish all day right there, baby. Let's go. There we go, guys. That's going to be a keep. It's almost 12 inches right there. Almost. Good solid fish. Now guys, I want y'all to stick around to the to closer to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you something that I've I've never seen before personally. And I think it's kind of crazy. It's it's something I've never seen before. So and I, I've seen a lot of things out here on, on, on the creeks and doing all that stuff. So if you want to see something interesting stick around because i'm going to show y'all here in a little bit but let's see if we can't catch some more keeper fish i'm also using thump gel today be sure to go to thumpgel.com use code 903 to save you 10 percent off that's what i'm using to help catch these crappie today the scent from that thump gel really gets these crappie going and these crappie just really they really can't resist that thump gel guys i got a lot of people ask me about thump gel and I've seen my catches increase ever since I started using it. So I'm a believer. There he is. All right, we got another good fish, guys. Another good one. Sorry, trying to reposition the kayak. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness. Whoo, another good one. All right, guys, well, this one is, that's another 13 incher, 13 incher, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Look at the mouth on that crappie. Solid white, solid white crappie. All right, guys, well, guess what? We got four on stringer. I think I may have figured something out here, but I'm telling you guys, you gotta stay till the end of this video. I am gonna show y'all something that I've never seen. And it is very, very interesting. If these crappie are stacked here like I think they are, I know the exact reason why. So y'all stay tuned. There he is. Oh man, he hit that so light. But when I started to reel, I felt it. Look at that, guys. I think that's going to be another keeper. Maybe not. I mean, after you pull out a 13. Hey guys, that's, oops. Hey guys, that's almost 10 and a half. Look at that. 10 and a half, baby. Let's go. Ten and a half incher. Pull out a 13 and then you catch a ten and a half and don't even look like a keeper, you know? But it is. It is. Alright guys, well, let's keep on rolling. Guys, what 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 what's going guys that's no edits <gasps> that was a freaking hammer oh my gosh okay whoo guys i don't know if y'all just saw that but i put the fish on my pole started going in the water that was that may have been a two pound crappie i don't know oh my gosh there's some big ones in here 
Good gosh. Is that a crappie? Oh yeah, look at that guys. I figured him out, baby. That's a keeper black. Keeper black, I think. Ten and a half, baby. Let's roll. All right, guys. Ten and a half inch black. Hadn't caught a keeper black out of here yet, but hey, I guess there's a first for everything, you know? You know what? I may need a one, two, three, four. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's six, guys. Help me keep counting if you can. Help me. Help me, help me. Oh, if that wind would stay just like that. Can we go back to back keepers? Can we go back to back? I don't look like it. Oh, we can. We can. Oh my, guys. Oh, it's a stud. It's a giant. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh my gosh. Oh ho ho ho. Hey guys, what do you think about that one? 14. We got a 14 inch baby. Biggest of the day. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is awesome. Guys, he choked. That slab city right there, I can't even get that out. Guys, look at that. Look at that slab city. There it is. That's all we're using, baby. Jig and bobber. Jig and bobber, guys. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Big old mouth on that sucker, too. All right, guys. That's seven. Wow. Wow. What a fish. That's definitely the biggest of the day right there. Let's go get another one. All right, guys. That was an absolute tank. Is there another one? I think there is. I'm telling you. Man, I wish. God, I wish the wind would stay just like that. Oh, there he is another giant oh gosh guys it's a big one oh look at that fish oh my gosh guys guys <laughs> oh my goodness oh my gosh guys oh my gosh that that is an absolute tank in the creek. Oh my gosh, guys, is that, that's, that's 15. That's just shy of 15. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Black and monkey milk, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. This is going to be one of the new baits on Slab City Jigs right here. The 903 Fishing Stinger Series. Look at this. Black and monkey milk. Muddy Creek, Muddy Creek. I'm talking about, look guys, it's chocolate, chocolate milk. I mean, it's, it's chocolate milk right now, but look at that. Look how wide, how wide is the fish? Guys, that fish is about six inches wide. Look at that, a monster. Look at the eyes on that sucker. Oh my gosh. Whew, sorry guys, I get excited. This, this right here, you wanna pump me up? Let me start catching some toads out of the creek. Let me start catching some giants out of the creek. See if I don't get pumped up, baby. Oh my gosh, guys. And guess what? I still haven't showed y'all why the crappie are stacked right here in this hole. I know the answer. I know the exact answer. Oh my goodness. Wowza. All right, guys. Just caught the biggest of the day. Is there another one? I'm telling you guys, I think it's absolutely loaded. And that was a shad right there that just busted up. Oh, 
Did he hit it? That one hit it. Uh-oh. Look at that, guys. We're back on the board with a keep. I think. Let's see what he's looking like. Hey, guys. Almost ten and a half. There we go. Almost ten and a half. Like I said, when you catch a 15, then you catch a 10 and a half, you're kind of like, whoa, you know? I mean, look look at there, guys. That 15-incher, the last one I put on there, could dang near almost eat that 10-incher. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, guys, what I'm doing right now is just a retrieving that bobber a lot slower than I normally would. But from what I have saw today is these crappie don't want it just moving crazy. So I'm giving it about three or four pops and letting it sit. And a lot of the times those crappie will hit that bobber as it's sitting still. All right, let's get back on the board here. Let's see if we can get back on the board. There he is. God, oh, oh. I think that's gonna keep, guys. That's a solid black crappie, I think. I think that's a solid fish. Let's see what he's looking like. 10 and a half, baby. We're back on the board, not a giant, but hey, in Texas, guys, if this is your first time watching, 10 inches is a keeper. So, 10 and a half, that's gonna keep all day right there. work or not but we can try y'all see that guys oh y'all see that oh man I think I'm recording I don't know if I am or not I think I am Oh, I hope I'm recording. Well, a little different approach there. <laughs> a little different approach. That's a good fish. Not bad at all. That one was closer to me. Okay, guys. Well, didn't expect to catch one on the first cast trying it, but I did. I have my other 6.6 six right here, and I am popping this jig off the bottom. And that was my first cast doing that. I got nailed. I got absolutely slaughtered. I know there's some. Look at there, another one. A different approach, guys, and it is a giant. No jig and bobber with this one. Look at that. Look at that fish, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Look. Popping that jig. Look. Look at that slab city. Now, this is actually the white in monkey milk. This is going to be one of the newer colors as well. Look at that. I quit getting bites on jig and bobber, guys. So I decided to go ahead and throw out one sixteenth ounce jig head. A little slow fall, okay? Sometimes that one eighth ounce can just be too too heavy it's it's falling too fast they can't react to it so check it out guys right here look 1 16th ounce jig head like i mentioned this is my other 6.6 six right here one piece acc all right i usually take one to either vertical jig or cast and then i have the other one for my jig and bobber so that one shoot guys that was nice all right guys there's another one Sorry for no hook said I had just changed batteries and didn't forgot to turn the camera on. Oh, guess what guys? That's gonna be a keeper as well. 11 incher. Let's ride, baby. 11 incher right here. Not a giant, but keeper where I'm at, baby. Keeper. All right, guys, look at that stringer. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. 
very blessed. Let's see if we can't get another one. I want to know, is there any more of them 15s down there? That's what I want to know. You know what, guys? Caught a few fish thrown out and jigging back to me with no cork, and then now I've gone back to the bobber and have caught a couple more fish doing that. So, you know, always a good idea to have a couple of techniques ready to go. Definitely doesn't hurt. Good gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, guys, I think we got another one. Oh, it's another stud. Oh, it's a stud. Oh, come here, fish. Oh! oh guys. Oh. Look at that fish. God, dog. Oh. Slap City Jig, right there. SlapCityJigs.com. If you want to catch crappie in the creeks just like this, this fall and winter, get you some of these baits right here. I'm telling you guys, it's game over. This one is a... That's just shy of 15. Just shy of 15 inches, guys. Look at that. Good gosh. What a toad. Beautiful fish. I mean, white. It's a white crappie, guys. White. That is awesome. All right, guys. Well, what a beaut. Wow, guys. That stringer is filling up, baby. I don't think I'm close to a limit, so we're going to keep on going. See what else we can get. I was wondering if there was another toad in there. And there was. Let me see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We got fourteen on a stranger. No way that's a crappie, guys. Guys, there's no way. Y'all saw me. I just threw that in there. There's no way that's a crappie. I think it is the way it's fighting, but and it is. Guys, I just threw it in the water. And it's a solid fish. I'm telling you, that right there is in Slab City for you. Look at that, guys. Oh, man. I mean, that's, that's a solid 12-incher. Solid 12 inch crappie guy. I just threw it in the water. I didn't even move it. I did not even move the bait. All right, guys, I just counted a while ago off camera. I'm pretty sure that's 15. That's 15 crappie right there. Let's keep on going. That was insane. Why? No way. No way. No way. Guys, this is the type of stuff that's what? It's another stud. Oh, this one's bigger than that one. Look at that crappie. Oh my God, it's a giant. Come on. Oh, look at the belly. Look at the belly on that fish. Guys, that's two in a row. So what I did was I actually went shallower. I'm about a foot and a half instead of two, and I'm trying to throw it closer to the bank, and what is going on? That is insane. I think that's 16. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know. Another one. I don't think it's as big or he's coming in to me. I can't tell. Oh, it's the crappie. He ain't gonna keep, but. Okay, guys, you know what? Shoot, look, I'm not, my bobber stops right here. I'm gonna go about two or three inches shallower just to make sure I'm in the water column and not too close to the bottom. No way.
That is crazy. Oh gosh, he hit it. Look at that. Oh, they're shallow. Chasing that bait, guys. This is a tank, I think. And it is. This is a tank. Yeah, well, not as big as those couple, but. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Y'all see that that 66 ACC guys flip that crappie right right up to me. Okay guys, that's official. I'm fishing about 14 inches deep now. I've been fishing two foot deep this whole video. Not a giant, but that's a big one. I think that's 17. Good gosh, this is a crazy. Hey, 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 hey. Hey guys, calm down. This is insane. Are they that shallow on the bank right there? See guys, that's why you, you gotta try, you gotta try everything. You just never know. Yeah, I've caught quite a few fish two foot deep, but I decided I wanted to go a little shallower and throw on the bank, closer to the bank. And I've caught three keepers in five minutes, 14 inches deep on the bank. All right guys, well, I believe I got 18 or 19. I think I'm gonna go up the creek just a little bit but stick around and i have an explanation on why these crappie are stacked right here i can show you exactly why so y'all be sure to stay tuned what's going on family well that's about gonna end this trip but like i promised i wanted to show you guys what happened now as i was coming up in this creek i put in and started paddling towards the lake i came upon this right here and I've never seen this in person. I knew that this could happen, but it just, it's pretty wild in my opinion. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at this beaver dam, guys. This beaver dam goes all the way across the creek and it is thick. I mean, those sticks and logs, there's mud caked. Look at this, guys. Look at this mud. It goes all the way across the creek. I have never seen anything like this in person. This is crazy. So here's my thoughts, guys. When I first pulled up on this beaver dam, I came around this corner, I saw the beaver dam, and the water on this side of the beaver dam is about a foot higher than the water on this side. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but the water is extremely high. The water is running from this way to this way towards the lake. So I thought to myself, these crappie cannot get past this beaver dam. There's no possible way. Now, I mean, there may be some holes and crooks and crevices in there somewhere, but this beaver dam is really, really solid. So there's no way that these crappie can get past it. They can't go up further into the creek. So guys, I fished this first bend right here. This is where I caught all my fish today this first bend there's shad there's bait popping everywhere and this right here is actually one of the deeper holes that i've came upon in this creek probably about anywhere from three to six maybe seven foot deep and guess what guys i ended up finding these crappie stacked up basically as far as these crappie can go like i said they cannot get past this beaver dam right here and most I would say most bait fish can't really get past it at all. This right here is crazy to me. I've, I've never seen anything like this, guys. And you know what? I actually thought to myself, I'm going to turn around. I'm not going to go past this beaver dam. I don't know what's up there or whatever. But you know what? I'm glad I did because I caught all my fish about 20 to 25 yards right past the beaver dam. There it is, guys. Finished with 19 today. Some of these are some great looking crappie in this creek. Like I said, they can't go any further, so they're almost trapped in here right now, chasing bait, chasing shad. But you know what? It was a great time. I'm glad I ended up trusting my gut and really going past that beaver dam. Like you guys saw, I finished with 19. It was a great time, guys. I'm telling you, if you haven't went to slabcityjigs.com, picked you up some of those 903 Fishing Stinger series, you're really missing out. We're actually about to add two to three more colors on the website. And today, I primarily caught most of my fish on the black and monkey milk, which is one of the new colors that is going to be added. I also caught a few fish on the white and monkey milk as well. 
and 6.6 ACC crappie sticks one piece paired with that PC Fun Viper X reel. Y'all be sure to go to PCFun.com, use code 903FISH15. That's going to save you 15% off your order. And don't forget about acccroppysticks.com as well. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. YouTube loves when you like and comment. So be sure to leave me a comment down below. And guys, we're on the road to 75,000 subscribers. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. We're going to have a massive giveaway at 75,000 subscribers. You do not want to miss this giveaway. We're going to be giving away some ACC crappie sticks, slab city jigs, PC fun reels. We're going to be giving away a lot of stuff to show my appreciation to my subscribers. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.